all right everyone let's start with the workshop and thank you so much mm. for joining in today and well thank you zen sangam for giving me this opportunity let's get started we'll discuss the material first so the first thing we have in materials is so uh, gouache sheet i'll be using polaroid sheet because the reference i've shown in the picture is of polaroid i'll be using this gouache sheet it, it absorbs it really well so i'm going to go with this next i have a flat brush here and a detailer brush all right then i have a scale a pencil and water and i've taken shades of pink here taking all the shades of pink i can uh, it's like we can go for any shade like it's on us that which shade we want to go with right and here is the reference I painted them randomly, like uh, of my choice. You guys, guys can also go with uh, with yours, right? All right. So uh, first, we need to make this check, right? We need to make these boxes. For that, we'll have to mark with scale. All right. So the thing is, these small boxes uh, take a lot of time. If you guys want, you can make bigger boxes. that would take less time it's on you how fast you want to do or you want to go with this small box small box or a bigger one i'll try to make a bigger one this time all right bigger boxes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with making the boxes the size i'll be taking would be 1 1 cm work so let's start marking with with the size Let's make a grid once. I'm marking at the bottom of the sheet first. And I'm marking it here as well so that it gives a equal grid. I'm taking 1 cm. You guys can go for bigger or smaller than this. now we'll be joining it keeping both the dots and marking making a line now i'll be making lines over here as this sheet is uh, rounded at the corner so i'm marking over here otherwise i would have taken at the edge that gives a accurate grid I'll be taking a lighter shade for the grid, right? So that we, uh, if we make the hearts, they get enhanced and give a three D look. All right. The shade, if someone is taking purple or any other color, try taking a lighter shade of any color. If you're using gouache, just make it a bit creamy. Just uh, take a bit of water and make it creamy. So how we're gonna make the grid? We just need to join the edges, uh, the corners. All right. If I'm shading this part, 
i will be shading the uh, this box corner uh, the adjacent to it right the opposite of it and okay. same goes with this if i'm painting this the edge the corner of this this box and this box we'll start with this i'm using flat brush for painting it I'll be painting this part. All right, so I will start with this. So how we are going to make uh, this 3D one? Uh, how do we make it 3D? We're going to make line over here. And then stretching out from here to here. And then same goes with here. Work. I'll be making this one now. Thank you. 
be careful if it is wet to wait for it so i've got marks here because it was wet and i started drawing it so i'm covering covering it with the white paint if something happens with you guys we can cover it like this all right let's start uh, let me just quickly complete this part All right to so I have these two shapes of paint I have this rose and this is neon hot pink so first I'll go with this you it's on you guys whichever shade you want to um, explore you can try all right so here what did i do i mixed uh, i tried mixing different colors with each other and came up with these colors with these shades this is a total neon pink i like this a lot here i added neon uh, and dark pink and white and here it's a uh, rose color this is this is exact rose color and here i added bit, bit of uh, purple in it to make it bit darker here i uh, took rose color added white in it bit white and here i took peach mixed with light pink so that's how i got here i used uh, peach and rose color that's how i got this color and here i took light pink and purple bit of purple and white All right, I'll start painting. We need to cover each and every part. Uh, now you have an idea that how we made that three D one. Uh, after coloring this with the color pink. uh we'll be making it again with the brush uh detailer brush all right we'll keep it bit uh, thicker i mean we won't add much water so that it remains opaque I'm taking rose now. I'm coloring this part. we'll have to give it a double uh, double coating to make it bit darker i'm 
and coating would be done after it gets dried we are done with this part as well so now how oh, i'll be adding this uh, rose color with the bit of white to make it bit lighter so i've got this color i'll be using this I'm taking a bit of light pink now. We'll be adding rose in it. adding white bit white in it to get a different shade all right i'll be using this I'm taking neon and rose pink. All right, here we have a different tone. So I'll be using it here. All right, I'll be taking peach now. All right, so I was adding more. Okay, I've come up with the pink purple color. need to add rose so that it gets a pink shade and go with the neon Alright, let's do the second layer if it's uh, dried up because I think if these marks are visible, we can go for second layer. To 
make it bit uh, enhanced and brighter so we will be using black color and a detailer brush i have this long rigger I'm making it a bit uh, flowy so that it becomes easier for making outline. If not, if you do not have this brush or uh, you are willing to do it with a pen, you can. You can use a black pen after it gets dried up. All right, for doing the same thing. Uh, uh, okay, uh, we'll have to be careful where did we where we would have made the other part. So what I what we are gonna do is just tell you. We'll start like this, and then we bring the other three lines the way we did earlier. First, we're gonna draw the heart, and then the three D part. Alright, I'm done with this and see you in the next workshop. Thank you for joining in today. Do tag Zen Sangam and me. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.